Hi guys, welcome to another Teach to Code. So I had a request from a, well a comment, which was a request from a user named uh, Cog Game Richard is I think how you pronounced his name. So um, he requested that he needed a point class and from that point class he needed to calculate the slope. So let's go ahead and look how we can do this project. So we're going to go ahead and start a new Java application. I'm going to call this point test and it's going to be point test 2 for me. <laughs> I just did this a couple of times and the video wasn't very good, the video quality. But anyways, so point test 2 is what I'm going to call it. Um, let's go ahead and if we're going to do a point class, what we need to do is um, make it right so we're gonna go ahead here and do a new Java class we're just gonna call this one point <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and start in the point class so first thing we need is a couple of variables <clears throat> now Richard had um, explained he needed the data types to be double so double X and then public double Y Okay, and now if we're going to need objects of point, we're going to go ahead and make a constructor to make those objects. So we'll do public point, and we're going to pass double x into it and double y as our parameters. And then we're going to initialize them this dot y equals y and this dot x equals x. Alright. So if we need these variables after we initialize the object, right, we make the instance of the object, we're gonna have to um, make a couple of get methods. So if you guys didn't see the get and set method video, please go ahead and give that a watch. Um, <clears throat> when I was going to school, my Professor used to get a little frustrated that students wouldn't know the get and set methods and uh, It's projects like this. I could really see why but anyways So we need to get the value. So if we need to get the value For our method, we're gonna make it public We're gonna have a data type of double and we're just gonna call it get X We don't need to pass anything into the parameter we're going to get an error there at the bottom because we need a return statement and all we're going to do is return X. One of the most simple statements in Java but um, one of the most fundamental too. So public double get Y and all we're going to do is return Y. Alright. And we're done with our class. That's literally all we need for the point class. So let's go ahead and go back to the point test two. And let's go ahead and start working on this. So the first thing we need to do is make an object of point. So we're going to call the class point. We'll call our first point point one. And we'll set that equal to a new point. Now it's going to want two doubles for an argument. Otherwise, it's going to um, give you the error message. So let's go ahead and put in some doubles. We'll say 3.0, comma, negative 4.0. So we'll even pass a negative double in there. <clears throat> if we're going to calculate slope, if you guys remember, you need two points. It's the rate change of y over the rate change of x. You can only do the rate change of something if you have the difference of two numbers. So let's go ahead and make another point. <clears throat> point two, and we'll set that to new point, and let's see what we should pass into this argument. I'll go ahead and leave it at 6.0, and let's just do maybe uh, uh, 8.0 or something like that. Okay. So the arguments really don't matter. It uh, just, I guess it would matter what uh, slope you're trying to calculate. What two points are you trying to use to do this? 
So all right, so now that we've made our points, let's go ahead and print out to the user what those points are, so that way they're aware of it. So system.out.println. The, the first point is, <clears throat> okay, and we'll just go ahead and do uh, concatenation. And actually, you know what, let's do this in two lines. So we'll just say the first point is system dot out dot print ln. Because we want this to look like coordinates. So if we want it to look like coordinates, we're going to have to print out the, the parentheses. Then we'll concatenate point one dot get x. So it should be x before y. And then we'll concatenate a comma, right? Last, well not even last but not least, we have one more thing to concatenate. So we'll do the y coordinate. So point one dot get y. And then the last thing we need is a parentheses there. And I'm going to do another backslash n for another space. So we could go ahead and copy this. These two lines right here. And we could paste them. And what we're going to change is the second point, right? We want the user to know this is the second point. And don't forget to change the object over here, the object uh, name. If we don't change the object name, it's going to print the same point. I do that mistake often. So let's go ahead and uh, print this out and see what we get. So the first point is 3.0 comma 4, negative 4.0. The second point is 6.0 comma 8.0. So that's all we've done so far. So, <clears throat> so next we're going to go ahead and program how to do the slope. So for me, I like to break down fractions by, um, well, I mean any complex fraction. If you're working on it in math, you would usually handle any arithmetic in the numerator, and then you would handle any arithmetic in the denominator. And if you didn't have multiplication, you don't check for factors. So usually you just do the arithmetic on the top, do the arithmetic on the bottom, and usually divide or leave it as a fraction. So that's kind of going to be our goal. So we're going to do int m top. And I'm choosing m top for uh, m for slope and top for the top of the fraction. So int m bottom. And actually, I guess, you know what? Let's go ahead and call this rise. Let's go ahead and call this run, right? Rise over run. Good old rise over run. Oh, and these are supposed to be doubles. Sorry. So it's a habit to do integers right away. So double. And then last but not least, we'll make a double and we'll call it M. M is for slope, if you remember. Y equals MX plus B. So m is the variable they chose for slope so let's go ahead and do this so rise is going to be equal to 0.2 dot get y minus 0.1 dot get y run is going to be equal to 0.2 dot get x and it'll be minus 0.1 dot get x. Now if you wanted to uh, divide these and have a decimal value for your slope all you would have to do is um, m is equal to rise dividing run. So <clears throat> this program isn't going to simplify your fraction but either way I'm going to show you how to print out the the slope as a fraction and the slope as a decimal. So let's go ahead and do that. System dot out dot print ln the slope as a fraction. So we'll go ahead and say plus we're gonna do m top. Actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it here. So M top. Oh, actually, I called it rise now. So sorry. So then we'll say plus. 
we're going to concatenate the slash bar for the fraction and then we're going to concatenate run and then we could say system.out.println the slope as a decimal and then we could just print out m so I don't know which output he needed but um in any case hopefully this will help out Richard so the first point is 3 negative 4 the second point is 6 comma 8 the slope as a fraction is 12 3 and the slope of a as a decimal is 4.0 so let's go ahead and look at this so 8 minus negative 4 is actually adding right that'll be 12 so I see 12 in the numerator <clears throat> and then 6 minus 3 is 3 3 fits into 12 4 times so you could always change these values maybe we could change that to a negative 7 this to uh, 2 or something I don't know so 8 minus negative 7 is going to be 15 6 minus 2 is 4 4 fits into 15 3.75 times so that's essentially how we could use the point class to uh, calculate slope so it really does go back to using constructors um, if you didn't use a constructor you could do the set method but in any case I would you know it just depends on uh, the parameters that the they set for you you know what are the goals that you have to achieve but anyways you know essentially we use the get methods to um, get those values and that's how we pretty much did all the math right we accessed the other class using a get method so I hope you guys found value in this um, please like and subscribe you know comment down below if you there's any other problems you're having um, maybe if you want me to put the code in the description I could do that as well uh, just let me know how I could help you guys further um, learn Java, you know, this was kind of exciting because this was uh, The first project that was like requested so, you know If you guys have any more projects, please comment below, you know, um, I would greatly appreciate it I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you